What is the one thing that you can do today to transform your life? And what I mean by transforming your life, I'm talking about if you want to lose weight, you want to have a better financial status, you want to improve your professional journey, you want to improve your lifestyle overall, you want to be a better leader, whatever it is, what's the one thing that you can do today to transform your life? That's what I'm talking about and I want to share with you one simple thing that you can do right now today. This is no gimmick. This is not something I read or heard. This is something that I have personally put into practice and that's why I am successful today and I want to share it with you. Stay tuned. I'm Stephen Garner. This is Next Q. So this one thing that I do is I change my system and you can do this today. So the best way that I can describe a system is just drawing from life. Let's say during the holidays you want to bake your favorite cake. And in order to do that, you have to follow a recipe. So you have all these ingredients. You have to cook the uh, cake at a certain temperature. So you set the oven at that temperature and it has to cook for a certain duration. Your recipe that you follow help you to create a predictable outcome. That's how you have to think about your life. When you think about anything in your life, if you say, I want to be the best professional or I want to be the best husband or wife or whatever it is that you're aspiring to do, um, I want to have the best financial status, you have to have a system and that system is your recipe. And that recipe are ingredients based on what other people have done to achieve that success. So now when you think about your life, ask yourself this question. Are you paying attention to your system? Just like that cake you're trying to bake during the holidays and you want it to taste a certain way every single time. The first thing you have to look at is your routine. And this is why I'm telling you today, you can change right now today, <laughs> whatever it is that you're trying to achieve by simply tweaking your routine and that is your system. Okay. And I'll give you an example in my life. You know, when people look at me and they say, man, you know, you're, you're healthy. You have a pretty good body. What do you do? Well, my system teaches me the time box. I have a certain amount of time when I get up in the morning to do certain things every day. And you would be surprised. I'm not this guy who's in the gym for hours. I'm not even working out for 30 minutes. I have a five minute routine that I perform every single day. Now it is intense, but it's for five minutes every day. And systematically when I follow those things consistently, according to my personal recipe, it helps me to create a predictable outcome. So if you think of your life as that cake right now, you're baking yourself <laughs> in this oven for a period of time. What do you taste like when you come out of the oven? And, and you know, in every area of life, I'll use your finances, for example. Did you know there's a stat I read? I can't remember the source, but I promise you I'll, I'll get that to you. That 80% of Americans are in debt. Now, you don't just get in debt overnight. You have to make some decisions and then your behavior supports those decisions. And lo and behold, now you are in debt, right? Because the, a person's personal finance is correlated to their budget or lack thereof because they don't have a personal financial system. What do you have to change? So you have to ask yourself some questions to make yourself aware of what you're doing because a lot of times we're unconsciously incompetent of our situation. We don't know what we're doing. That's why you get a coach or someone outside you to look at your situation together and make you aware. Then when you are aware of it, you have to accept it and embrace it. Don't be self-condemning. Don't be self-critical. I always say this to people who are trying to get better. They're so critical of themselves when they find flaws and faults and mistakes. And it's like, no, that's the opportunity to learn and grow, to observe, to change. You can't get better if you don't know what you need to improve. Okay. So you identify the mistakes, accept them. Okay. Accept them. And then you have to put together an, an action plan. You have awareness, acceptance, and action because you're trying to develop a system that that will create a predictable outcome. Remember, you're that cake in the oven, you're baking for a duration of time, and it takes time, right? It takes time. 
It's not going to happen overnight. But what will happen overnight is the small incremental changes that you make. And I will say this. While you are in that process and you make incremental changes, because change can be hard, growth can be painful, reward yourself. Reward yourself in the process because what you're telling your mind is that while this change is painful and it's hard, but what I did is good because you just reward yourself. So your mind is thinking differently about the change that you need to make in order to grow because there's a reward for the change and the growth. And not only that, over time you're going to get better and now your mind is going to see the changes that you're making is positive and you don't have to depend on the rewards as much. You just focus on the process. And that's why you hear a lot of speakers say, trust the process. Focus on the process because you're the process. You're that cake baking in the oven. Listen, that's what you can do today to do whatever it is you want to do. Whatever it is you want to transform. That's the, that's the framework, I want to say. The framework. You have to have a system, a personal system. What does your system look like? Listen, thank you for watching. I'm Stephen Garner. Until next time, take your cues from me and live a great life. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Next cue.